drought and access to clean drinking water are common topics in Central Oregon. Katie Suniga did some research and found there are other options for collecting drinking water when the sky does not provide it. Katie. Lee, if you've never heard of it, you're about to. It's a process called atmospheric water harvesting. At any given moment, there is an abundance of water vapor within our atmosphere. And actually, if you were to harvest all of the water vapor in the atmosphere at any given time and condense it, you would cover the entire Earth's surface with about one inch of water. There are several different ways you can capture that water vapor from the air. You can condense it from fog or dew. You can collect rainwater, or you can use this a new technology called a hydro panel. So at Source, we make something called the Source Hydro Panel, which uses sunlight and air to make drinking water. Here's how it works. A solar-powered unit absorbs as much thermal energy as possible to get the inside of the machine hotter than the air around it. There's a fan at the base which draws in the ambient air loaded with water vapor. The cooler air hits the hotter environment created inside the machine and the water vapor is condensed out and becomes liquid water. This condensation occurs on a special material inside the machine uh, that is hygroscopic in nature, meaning that uh, it only allows for these pure uh, water molecules to pass through the membrane. This newer technology is being used in 52 countries and 25 states in the U.S. There's only one location in Oregon, and that place is pretty close to home. Starting with a significant private donation and some tribal funds, Warm Springs became home to a hydro panel farm. The farm is a little more than an acre, and in the Warm Springs climate, it can produce 720 gallons of drinkable water a day. This the project got started uh, due to the tribe's water problem and that has been uh, a challenge for the last three or four years. When people are told to boil their water, it's not a good thing. This is not a full solution, but it can help with home units also available. A two-panel system in a home in Central Oregon, when producing 100% of the time, can make enough water for a family of four year-round. A two-panel system can hold 60 liters of water. Each panel costs $2,000 and has a yearly maintenance expense of $75 with a 15-year lifespan. It's a two-panel system that fully self-contained, solar-powered, uh, stores the water, and they put in a faucet at the home where they want it. There's now 50 homes that have those systems in addition to the, the one-acre farm that we have here today. Dr. Krista Haney told me there are several benefits to atmospheric water harvesting. Another benefit of harvesting water vapor is it doesn't rely on infrastructure such as piping. So you can really go off-grid and harvest water out of the atmosphere in remote and off-grid areas. She told me this is really important, particularly in areas that are very rural, impoverished, and may have a water pollution or water contamination issue. It can also be useful after a natural hazard or a natural disaster, such as a hurricane. I also asked Dr. Haney if there are any adverse effects in this process. When you take it from somewhere and it was meant to be somewhere else, could it actually end up hurting our water cycle or anything in a, in a bad way? I would say that the downstream effects is something that really hasn't been studied really intensively. But what I what I think in terms of if you think about all of the water vapor circulating within the atmosphere at any given time, the effects really would be negligible. With Central Oregon being in drought status for years, many say we need to start rethinking our relationship with water. Okay, I brought some back. Yeah. You so try it? you want to give it a shot? Sure. All right. What do you think? I think it tastes like pure water. It is very pure water. It's actually double distilled, so they do have to put some minerals and things back in it, mm. but it is a very high quality, very clean drinking water. You know, I think we're gonna be hearing a lot more about this. Yeah, hopefully we'll get a few more places within the United States because we definitely need it. Yeah, all right, we're gonna take a break and be right back.